Murder is a not a scam, it's a legend call. Social Security. Hello. Yes, I received a, a voicemail to call this number or something on my Social Security. Okay, so I can I know who I'm speaking with? Yeah, first name is Dom. D-O-M. Last name Polsky. P-O-L-S-K-I. P-O-L-S-K-I. Okay, sir. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, sir, can you help me with the social number just for the verification purpose? Yeah, it's 86 one zero one four six three. Zero, one zero one four six three. Yes. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Right. That's it. Okay. So hold on a second, sir. Okay. So can you help me with the date of birth? Three sixteen, nineteen fifty. Three sixteen, nineteen thirty. So what's your age right now? Seventy one. Seventy one. Okay. Hello, you there? Yes, sir. Hello, hello. Just hold on a second. Let me check it. Okay. So your social number was issued in New York, New York, right? New York, right. Yeah, in 1936. No, 1950. I wasn't born till 1950. Yeah, in 1950. Yeah. Oh, you were born on 1915. You said me 1930 or 1950, sir? 1950. The date of birth? 1950. Oh. 1950. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so what's your last name? Polsky, P-O-L-S-K-I. First name, Dom. Dom Polsky. Okay. Okay. Polsky. Yes. The reason you are contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security. We have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities on your social how can you suspend it? That's where I live yeah. at. I'm sorry? I live on Social Security. That's that's the money I get. How can you suspend it? No, sir. There is something suspicious in the social number. We have found some criminal activities done in the Social Security number. Okay. Well, what's that got to do with me and canceling my Social Security? So, Mr. Soski, do you receive any calls from the local police department? No. Why would they call me? No, they haven't called you yet? No, they haven't called so, so, Mr. Do you have a piece of paper and pen handy? That's what I'm going to say. You have to make note of it. Like my name, my batch ID number, your case ID number. So go ahead with a piece of paper handy. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So, Mr. First of all, my name, Michael Robinson. My batch ID number is 3156219AC. A as an Alpha, C as in Charlie. Okay. I repeat, 31... Five six two one nine AC A as an alpha C as yes, a Yes, I got it. Okay. So, Mister, your case, your the, case ID number. Okay. DC DC D as a Delta C as a Charlie, with the number seven O one O. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Mister, now go ahead and read out the legal charges which are against your name. So, I will highly appreciate you if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm speaking as these lines are monitored and recorded for evidence purposes. I'll give you fair enough chances to speak and raise your questions once I have completed my part. Is that okay with you? I guess, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry? I said go ahead. Okay, sir. So, Mr. Your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? I used to go there every year. Once a year, I'd go there to the Texas State Fair and work the pierogi stand down there at the Texas State Fair. But I'd go to all the state fairs, really, (laughs) so, because I'd work, we'd tear it down, the pierogi stand, take it to the next place, set it up, and we'd sell the pierogies. Okay. So, Mr., have you ever lost your phone or wallet in the past? No. No? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'd know if I okay. lost it. So, have you ever lo- have you ever entered your personal details online on any sites while applying for loans, credit cards, or payday loans? I put it on Twitter once. Somebody asked for it, but that was a long time ago. When Twitter first came out, nobody knew what it was about. Okay. 
Okay. So, Mr. This case is going to be taken to the FBI headquarters as we have strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the code. Prove me guilty? They must prove me guilty or what? Sir. So, so, hold on a second. Let me complete. Well, you're going to prove me, me guilty complete. of something. I'd like to know what you're going to prove me guilty of. Sir, I'll give you a fair enough chance for your question. Okay, go ahead. Let me complete. Complete. So the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some bloods and drugs received inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There is one address link with the title of the vehicle, the address in the city of Roland, which was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered eight pounds of cocaine, eight which is a piece of, of drug and some documentation. Yeah. That's a lot of cocaine, eight pounds. How, who would leave eight pounds of cocaine behind? I'm sorry? I, I don't know who would leave eight pounds of cocaine behind, but okay, go ahead. A document for financial institutes, such as State Bank, Bank of America, and USA Bank. And as well as there were also documents found for account in bank which are overseas in countries like Jamaica, China, Cayman Islands. And this entire paperwork has your name on it and hundreds of thousands of dollars has been from the bank account. It's got my name, Dan Polsky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Has been weighed from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That well, is the too. reason we ask the Social Security Administration yes. of the state of Texas has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. Uh -huh. Now, as we are running very short on time, and what you have done was totally against the law. I didn't do anything. And drug That's what I'm trying to tell you, but you won't let me tell you. Okay. So go on, sir. What do you I, want to say? I didn't do oh. it. I, I, I haven't been to Texas in years. Used to go down there, yeah, every okay. year for the state fair and worked a pierogi stand. But now I've been retired for years. From the pierogi business. No, sir, I see. Hello, hello. Hello, oh, yes. Hold on a second, sir. Let me speak. Okay, go ahead. So in this regard, we have also in this regard, we have also checked your past records, and we have found that your banking contains genuine records, and your social have no other complaints in the past. And we have a doubt that maybe it's not you, but someone else who may have access well, to your personal information doing okay. these criminal activities. Okay. So that is the reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. Okay? So if we agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold. And we also have to find the real culprits who have used your personal information towards these criminal activities. So do you help, agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case? I don't know. What do you want me to do? Sir? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Sir, or you want to hire your old criminal lawyer? Hire my own lawyer for what? I didn't do anything. Sir, that... Okay. We'll help you to do this, okay? So just stay on the line while I'll transfer the call to the senior officer agent with DEA, who's the authorized person in this regard with the case, okay? Okay. So stay on the line. Don't hang up the phone. Hello, mister? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Hello, sir? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay, sir. Stay on the line while I transfer the call to the senior officer agent. Okay? Okay. Thank you for being in. All your line has been transferred to Officer Brandon Taylor. May I know whom I'm speaking with? Dam Polsky. Okay. So it's P-O-L-S-K-I, right? P-O-L-S-K-I, yes. Dam Polsky, so I hope the previous officer had explained you the case in detail. So do you have the complete knowledge of this case right now? Yeah, he said something about somebody using my social security in Texas, but I explained to him I haven't been to Texas in years. I used to go down there every year and work the state fair there at the pierogi stand, but I haven't been down there in years, so I don't know what, what he's okay, talking so you about. Are, okay. But right now you reside in New York, right? I'm in New York now, yeah. This is where I'm originally from, but... You know, when I was younger, I used to travel, you know, go state fair to state fair and uh, set up a pierogi stand. So do you have a doubt on anyone who can use your identity and try to do this with you? 
No, I can't think of anybody who would want to do this. Right now you live alone, you live with your family? I live alone. Okay, so do you do the online shopping through Amazon, eBay, Walmart, anyone? Yeah, I do all that. Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever received a call from the Walmart people that uh, uh, somebody else has doing a shopping on your name and uh, you don't have any knowledge about it? No. Apart from that, uh, have you ever tried to like uh, use public Wi-Fi whenever you are outside? No, I never use public Wi-Fi. And whenever you buy anything from grocery store or gas station, how you pay them? Like you swipe your card or you pay them by cash? Cash. Cash is king. Always use cash. And uh, we had received more than a 20 number of banks under your name. Do what? you really have a 20 banks under your name? Well, no, I don't have 20 banks. You have only one bank? One bank, yes. Been dealing with them for okay. years. Uh, okay, that's the Bank of America? No, 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 Titty Bank. Titty Bank, okay. Yes. Here we found two Titty Bank under your name, so only to differentiate which Titty Bank is yours, okay? Can you verify me the value of your checking account of the TD Bank? Oh, well, it's probably 4000 in the checking. And the value of your saving account? Savings is probably 3000 just 3 Okay. Because what happened, <clears throat> uh, identity theft is a possible, if you are saying, if you are uh, doing the online shopping, if you are using a laptop or phone, you, you are go doing the Google on it, Doing because the Google, all the yeah. Are not I do the Google. Yeah. Hmm. Because all the websites are not secure. If you Google on any wrong website, it may be possible you can lose your ID over there, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. In this mm -hmm. situation, uh, what I'm asking you that are you willing to cooperate with us? Just to get your name That's cleared what from the other fellow said, but I don't know what you want me to do to cooperate. I don't know what you're talking about. What have I got to do? Oh, yeah. I will explain you. No need to worry about. First of all, do you have pen and paper handy with you right yeah, now? Yeah, the other fellow told me to get one, yes. Okay. Uh, no, Don, my name is Brandon Taylor, and my employee ID is... Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. you got to slow down, Brandon. What? Brandon okay. Taylor. Okay. Yeah. What's your bitch ID? And my one six six zero zero three. Okay. Now, uh, could you please like uh, hold a line with me for a two minutes because uh, I have to submit the recording which you have with me as well as with the previous officer. And uh, in the meantime, I have to get your arrest warrant cancelled, which is pressed on your name. There's an arrest warrant on my name. Yes. Actually, let me tell you, this is a confirmation call, just an information call to you that this kind of uh, things is going under your name. Do you have the knowledge or not? We also check your uh, past record. We found everything normal. So before yeah, we go normal. and take any further uh, yeah. legal action, we okay. want to talk with you about this case. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just be on hold with me for a few minutes so what I can do. I can talk to the court people that what are the options okay. to get your name clear from this Yeah, case. we got okay. yeah, yeah, we got a clear uh, name. Okay, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, hold a line with me, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, thank you for being on hold. Okay. Yeah, I had submitted your recording. In okay. the meantime, they, I get an update. What did they say? What did they say? Did they say it was all right? Uh, no, no, no. Just oh. let me explain you the whole okay. situation. Okay, yeah. First yeah. of all, they had put your yeah. Yeah, they had put your arrest warrant on hold. That's good. Uh, let me tell you, it's, yeah, it's not cancelled, but it's on hold. Okay. Second thing, they had updated me that they are going to suspend your current social security number because uh, your current social security number has found suspicious in the state of Texas. And right now, we don't know who is the real culprit, right? Uh, is anyone who can use your identity? Right now, we don't have the complete knowledge of it. So just to protect you from the future uh, problem, they had decided to suspend your current social security number. And if in future, the culprit is going to use your old social security number, so we are going to track them down 
and we are going to take him into the custody, okay? Okay, I track him down because I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. second thing, they had decided to suspend your bank account, too, because... What? My I bank account? That, uh, what How can you suspend my bank account? Yeah, let, yeah, let me tell you that. Okay. Oh, Give me a time to okay. explain you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, because the reason they had decided to suspend your bank account, because we had received more than a 20 number of banks under your name, right now we are not able to differentiate that which one belongs to you. So... That's the reason they had decided to do that. But here, what I can tell you that if you really want to save and secure the bank account, which is legally belongs to you, so what we can do for you, we can file SS5 form. SS5 form is also known as Asset Verification Form Number 5. In that form, we are going to mention all the assets and properties that belongs to you. Okay. And don't worry. I will not ask any questions which is personal, okay. like your just, account just number, a minute. Just routing a minute. Just number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, let that fucking dog out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm bad. Okay, is anyone uh, with you right now? My or cousin you are Eddie. alone with your dog? No, no, my cousin Eddie's here. Yeah, because uh, what I'm telling you is, you don't have to disclose this matter to even your family member. How old your cousin Addie is? He's my age, 71. No, 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 your cousin. Yeah, he's 71 too. Yeah, we're, we're both same age. Okay, because you don't have to disclose this to even to the Addie, okay? Okay, you Eddie. You have to keep this confidence. And you don't say this. nothing about yeah. this. Set. He's just uh, abusing uh, to me. No, to me. He's deadly. He he's, he got hit in the head with a brick years ago, and he, he isn't quite right. That's why he, I take care of him sometimes. Oh dear. Okay. So my first question is: the house on which you are living is your rented house, or you owning the property? No, I own it, but Eddie lives here. Do you have any vehicle under your name, like car, bike, truck? I got a bicycle. Eddie's got a bicycle too. You don't have a. Okay, you don't have a car under your name. Oh, I got a car too. Yeah, I got a truck, pickup truck, Ford F one fifty four by four. And uh, right now, as money laundering case is going on your name, you are not authorized to keep more than a hundred dollar in terms of cash. So, do you have a cash money more than a hundred dollar? Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I got a couple hundred bucks here. Okay, you have a couple of hundred dollars with you right now, yeah. okay? Yeah, I don't know how much Eddie's got. Uh, Eddie, how much money you got, Eddie? I just asked you how much money you had. Oh, fucker. Okay. Okay, uh, no need to involve the Eddie because this case is on your name, okay? Yeah, but Eddie, and you told me I gotta keep him posted because he doesn't know what's going on. Okay. okay, and uh, as no, I can see no that, okay. you are telling me you have a TD Bank under your name, right? TD Bank, yes. And what is the value of your checking account? I told the other fella, 4000 Okay, and in the saving account, you have a 3000 right? Right. And do you have a debit card with the bank? Yes. Do you have a credit card with uh, any company or with any bank? Yeah, I got a, I have a best MasterCard with uh, TD Bank. Okay. You have only one credit card, right? Yeah. Hey, you, you don't have a credit card. Okay. You got your credit card with you? What the fuck? No, your credit card. What the fuck? Oh, no, he ain't got one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do you have any investment like in money market? No, IRA, gee, I, I ran a pierogi stand. I don't have any retirement. All I get is Social Security. Okay, now hold the line with me. Uh, I have to go and submit this information to the U.S. Okay. Treasury Department. Right. And I have to get an update that what an option that you can go and save okay. and secure okay. the money okay. that you have. Uh, all right, yeah, check them. Yeah. Okay, uh, so Dam, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, Dam, I just got an award uh, with the U.S. Treasury Department. And okay. uh, they told me that, yeah, 
if you really want to save and secure the money which you have, okay. uh, you need to do one thing. Okay. First of all, you need to go to the bank. You need to withdraw the money. And uh, as you, uh, you are uh, withdrawing the money from this uh, bank, you need to legalize your money. Okay? Legalize my so money? Legalize my money is money. legal. What are you talking about? It is legal. It's money. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. But right now, as there is a money laundering case is going on your name, so the court people has decided to shut down your bank. Okay. Oh, so no, it's not first okay. thing that yeah. So if you really want, what happen if you don't save and secure the money which you have in your bank account? They will simply go and shut down your bank account. So before they go and shut down your bank account, what you need to do, you need to uh, withdraw the rest of the money which you have in your account. Okay, okay. Bring, it, to bring it home? No, you don't need to bring it home. Uh, to Just to legalize your money, you uh, have to go to any of the government store like uh, CVS, uh, Walmart, uh, Rite Aid, Kroger's, any of the store. You need to just go over there and you need to convert the money in the safety locker. The name of the safety locker is a Target gift card, okay? Target gift card? Yes. Okay. Hey, we got to go to Target. Okay. Uh, and uh, tomorrow what happened? You can also kiss my ass. We got to go to Target, Eddie. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and no need to take the Addy to the Target. I have okay, to take Eddie. I yourself. can't leave in the house by himself. He'll fucking destroy the place. Okay. Hmm. So this is the what you have to do. You now, <clears throat> nah, you heard what I said. Okay. Okay. Now what? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Can I talk to Eddie? Yeah. Eddie, he wants to talk to you. Uh, he don't want to talk to you. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Where's Eddie? Eddie. Eddie's in the other room now. What do you want to talk to Eddie for? I thought you had my social security number. So, so you always involving Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Well, Eddie is my cousin. Yes, I involve my cousin. I have to protect him. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, where is Eddie? Eddie, he wants to talk to you. You dumb motherfucker! <laughs> Hi folks, this is Wenja. Click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.